What I enjoy most about the BAE graduate program is really how we interact and, and, and really combine a family atmosphere that cares about you as a student in your professional development with cutting edge research in the field of biological and agricultural engineering. It's a small program, so you get to know all of the faculty, all of the graduate students, and so you don't get lost in the masses like other large programs. So I would describe our culture as like a big family. When you walk through the halls of Weaver Labs, office doors are open and you see graduate students and undergraduate students in a faculty office. You see people stopped in the hallway talking to each other. We have family nights, we have get-togethers, we have barbecues, and we celebrate a lot of international holidays together. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to design a program that's going to really be aimed at your career goals. So when I was looking for a PhD program, one was finding an environment that was really student-centered, that allowed a student to grow holistically. And second was finding a department that had a lot of breadth in terms of what they were doing. So if you're a graduate student in BAE, you basically have the opportunity to craft your own curriculum with the guidance of your faculty advisor. And this means that you end up being able to take courses from all across campus. The challenges that we face in society, the challenges that research is trying to solve are more complex today than they were a generation ago. And you can be part of that effort if you join us in biological and agricultural engineering. Students are working across many diverse academic areas, but they're all unified by their interest in sustainability. So sustainability of the environment and sustainability of food systems. My research is focused on sustainable animal waste management. We're trying to bring animal production or food animal production back together with crop production to recycle all the products that they produce and also looking at the system as a whole to find out how we can do this more sustainably. One of the things that we do in the department is we start off the very first two semesters that you're in uh, our program, you take research methods for, actually from me as the department head so that I can identify opportunities all across campus where you may want to engage with other faculty members and in other disciplines that may assist you with your research. So NC State has opportunities for students to pursue certificates in teaching and also communications such that they can get some of the experience that's really important while you're still in graduate school that you might need at the next step. During my three years here, I had a lot of technical writing experience and a lot of presentation skills in my career, my managers have seen that I can write and I can speak and that has allowed me to interact with more clients and be on a lot of proposals. Alumni of the BAE graduate program are successful in a lot of different areas. They're successful in industry, they're successful in governmental agencies, and they're successful in academia. So what does my job entail? Well, I have a 75% teaching and 25% research appointment. So as part of my teaching appointment, I coordinate our mechanized systems management program. In addition, as part of my teaching appointment, I also serve as a college faculty fellow for student success. Having a job in the Research Triangle Park has been a great experience. There's a lot of companies in the area, so it allows for a lot of collaboration on projects. There is a, a vast array of things you can do in this area, and it has worked out very well for me in my career. The next steps, if you are interested in coming to NC State and exploring the opportunities here, um, is to go on our website <laughs> and go to the graduate programs page and you, there's a button right there that says contact student services coordinator and that's me. And you can click on that button and you can get right to me. One of the things that I do is that I help students figure out who's got funding, how to go through that process of communicating with professors. On our website, we have faculty profiles where we describe some of our research interests. And if some of those interests speak to you, you should directly contact those faculty to see what kinds of opportunities they might have. And you should also contact our director of graduate programs, Dr. John Klassen. If you can't tell, I'm excited about our research and our graduate programs. The most exciting part is having you join us.